Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Data Analysis with Dr. Veronica. In this video, we will look at VStack and HStack functions in Microsoft Excel. VStack is vertical stack. HStack is horizontal stack. We will see how they work with examples, and we will also see how to nest vertical stack and horizontal stack functions with the sort function and see how to use it with the array constant. The link to the practice file for this tutorial is in the description box. Please check the description box below and download the practice file so that you can learn practically as you watch the video. The best way to learn Microsoft Excel is to learn by doing. If this is your first time of visiting my YouTube channel, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Let me know also what you think about this video in the comment section. When you give me a thumbs up, the YouTube algorithm will pull up this video anytime any other person looks for contents about VStack and HStack. So the VStack and the HStack functions were added to Microsoft Excel for the purpose of making work, combining ranges in Excel to be easy. Before VStack and HStack, it used to be a Herculean task to combine ranges in Excel. Now, merging ranges and arrays is easy even when the ranges have variable sizes. So VStack combines ranges into a multiple array vertically, but HStack combines ranges into a single array horizontally. Just to add that VStack and HStack is only available in Microsoft 365, the Windows and Mac, and Excel for the web. So if you have other versions of Excel, you will not find VStack and HStack. So let us get started with the VStack. How to use VStack is basically to type the equal to sign on your keyboard and you type VStack. The array of data that we have here, like we can see, are some countries in some regions of Africa. And the VStack argument basically says array one, array two. So it's just for you to choose the array of data that you want to combine. This is it. And you're good to go. So we choose our array one, just like this. Use the comma separator. Choose the second array, choose the comma separator to separate, and you go to the next. I close the bracket like this, and I press the enter button on my keyboard. And this is the output that I have. The data that we saw earlier arranged differently have been combined into one array, neatly combined. I'm just going to undo the bold that I have here, and this is what we can see. I'm going to edit this by putting the comma separator so that it looks nice all the way. You can go ahead and put headers. So I will just merge this and I type list of countries, Africa, list of some countries and sizes. So here we go. This is nicely updated. A very interesting feature of VStack and HStack is that Whenever you update your source data, the returned array will be updated at once. So when you update your source data, the returned array is updated because the functions are fully dynamic. So we will take an example. Let us change Sierra Leone, which we have here. Change Sierra Leone, the size of Sierra Leone from 71,740 to say 80,000. Let us see what happens. We can see how this has changed in the returned array automatically. This is amazing. The next example we will look at is HStack. For HStack, it is basically merging the data horizontally. And we have two array of data right here, and we will use HStack to merge them. Use the equal to button on your keyboard and type HStack, open the bracket, choose the first array, use this, the comma separator, and I will choose the second array without choosing the row headers this time. I will close the bracket and press the enter button on my keyboard. And this is what I have. We have this information 
that were separated in the example now merge together horizontally. So I can go ahead and bolt this. This is how to use HStack. We will check the next example, which is using VStack with an array constant. In the first example that we saw, one thing that was notable was that our output or the returned array did not have headers. We had to type this in manually, but we can include the array constant to the VStack function so that we can provide headers for the array that will be returned. How do we do this? I type the equal to sign and put V stack. I open the bracket and to use the array constant, which is to enable us to provide a missing data, you use curly braces, open the curly brace and you use the open, use the quotation mark. So the first column, I want it to have the, you can say, African continent, and I close the quotation mark. I use the comma separator. The next column, I want the header to be size. And I close the quotation mark. I close the curly brace and my array one is done. I go to the next array, which is basically to select the array of functions that I want to stack together. I Use the comma separator, go to the next array that I want to stack. Use the comma separator and go to the next. I close the bracket and I press the enter button on my keyboard and this is what I have. Using the array constant allows me to supply the missing data while still maintaining the same structure of the returned array that I want to see. I'm just going to add commas here to make it and of course, I can make this ball. The next example that we are going to see is how to merge vStack or hstack with the sort function to have even better results. Simply press the equal to sign on your keyboard and you type vStack, open the bracket, select all the array of information that you want to stack vertically, close the bracket. And when I hit the enter button on my keyboard, but this is what I have, but I want to sort this. So I nest the vStack function with the sort function. Open the bracket. This is my array. I use the comma separator. I go to the sort order because I want this to be sorted alphabetically in ascending order. And I have sorted this information alphabetically. You can see the countries, Bene, Botswana coming first before others. The next example we will look at is how to merge uneven arrays. Sometimes our information does not come all clean. We might have some missing information in the data that is sent to us. And we want to stack this data vertically or horizontally. How do we merge uneven arrays? So this data that is provided for us, the most suitable function to use to merge this is the hstack form. And we will just type equal to hstack, open the bracket, select the first array like this, put the comma separator, select the second array. Let us see what comes out of this. We can see that we have zero right here that there is no information. So as you can see, it is also possible to stack uneven arrays together. I'm just going to change the format of these so that we would have the dates showing nice. So you can go ahead and stack data that has uneven arrays and it will still be stacked. This next example, we will see how to nest wrap rows and wrap calls function with the vstack or the haystack function. If you do not know how to use wrap rows and wrap calls and you don't even know what these functions mean, please, the link to the practice file and the video is in the description box. I did a comprehensive video about how to use wrap rows and wrap calls and what they mean and how you can use it to manipulate array of data. So please do well to watch that video. And let me also know what you think in the description box about this video that you're watching so far. So click the link in the description box to watch the video on how to use and understand the wrap rows and the wrap calls.
function. In this example, I have two arrays of one-dimensional data, two arrays of 1D data, and I want to stack this data really nicely. So the first thing that I do is I press the equal to sign and I use H star to stack this array of data horizontally like this. The second step is to nest the H stack function in the wrap rows function. We can also nest it in the wrap calls function. I mean the both work the same way, but I want to use wrap rows. Now, my vector, which is the 1D array of data that I want to wrap, is already selected. I use the comma separator. The wrap count, in this case, is if you're using wrap rows. The question is, how many cells on the same row do you want information to be imputed before going to the next row underneath? How many cells on the same row do you need information to be imputed in before going to the next row underneath? My video on wrap rows and wrap calls is very detailed and explained. Please do yourself the favor of watching that video. So in this example, I want the information for the, for the months of the year to be reflected in three cells on the same row before going to the next. So I'm going to put three here and the next argument, which is pad with, I will just put quotation marks and pad with a small x. Pad with a small x just in case there is an empty cell. I don't want to see the NA error. And I press the enter button on my keyboard and I have the information neatly stacked just the way I want it to be. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. In this video, we have seen the meaning of VStack and HStack and how they work with examples. We have also seen how to nest VStack and HStack with the sort function, the array constant functions. We have also seen how to nest it with the wrap calls or the wrap row functions. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are yet to do so. See you in the next video.